Today I want to share with you some of my favorite home decor books for helping to achieve that old world style or charm. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, I am Roxana, and if you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button. That way you could be notified every single week I post brand new videos and that way you don't uh, miss out on any of them. I also appreciate those of you who hit the like button because that really helps me grow here on YouTube and I so appreciate you for doing so. Today I want to share with you some really great home decor books uh, that help to achieve that old world style. Now the first thing I want to talk about is what exactly is old world style and what I am getting at as far as this video goes. I know a lot of us have an idea of what old world means, old world in the sense of an old cottagey style feeling, maybe a European farmhouse. Uh, there's variations of rustic and elegant. Of course, we live in a modern time. But the charm that is from those old world homes, whether that be a European farmhouse or a beautiful English cottage home, is definitely very timeless and charming and something that a lot of us are trying to achieve in our homes today. I love home decor. I just absolutely do. My style has evolved through so many different changes. Uh, over the years, I've gone from modern, a little bit boho, a little bit uh, minimalist to glamour, um, and really uh, just in the last few years have concentrated on this old world style that I think will stand the test of time um, as far as our home goes. And it has been one of the most challenging looks to achieve because something that I realized early on is that this is not a style that I can just go to Ikea or Target or what have you and get all the things I need to come home to decorate the room with. This is something that is going to be styled over time. It's an eclectic look, it's a gathered look, it's a collected over many years look, and that is certainly rang true in my home. Uh, when I first began uh, the journey to transitioning from a more modern style, um, and try to make it an overnight cottage look in my home. It did not look right. It was very grandma immediately, and that is not what we are going for, or at least not what I'm going for. Um, and so I've had to swap things out, change things uh, continuously. I'm still working on my home. And the reason I wanted to make this video is because a lot of you have asked me about my home in the style that you see here and where some of this um, inspiration has come from. And so I want to share with you some of the books that I draw from on a regular basis because it really takes a keen eye, um, some studying, really honing in on what it is you're trying to achieve in the look of your home, uh, especially for a style like Old World. It's not something that is easily, like I said, gathered and put together. So it's a very challenging style, but at the same time, it is so rewarding because after so many years of working on my home, there's a feeling in here that I was going for, and it is a very charming, um, homey, nostalgic vibe that is in my home and I just love it and so it's been very challenging but at the same time very rewarding to see it sort of slowly coming together and becoming what is my unique style and so I hope that what I have to share with you today helps you achieve or find ways to find inspiration to get that look that you're trying to go for it's really nice to be able to draw upon a source that can help inspire you and help you kind of gain a vision for your your space i have several books to share and also an instagram account that i want to get to so let's go ahead and get started with some of these books the first book i have is perfect english cottage by Roz byam shaw and i know that this book in particular is very popular and it's one I go back to over and over again. There's so many beautiful aspects to it. There's a lot of fabrics, a lot of textures. There is a lot of vignettes and settings that really inspire me. And it's just beautiful how she 
has captured a very homey, cozy vibe, but at the same time, it's a lovely setting to look at and um, to just draw inspiration from these very comfortable, but very beautiful homes. This one is Perfect English Farmhouse by the same author, Roz Byam Shaw. So this is another one of her books that have absolutely beautiful finishes, woodwork, you can imagine they're very rustic homes that are found throughout here because this is a farmhouse book that she's focused on here. And the farmhouses all look very, very different from one another. There's not one um, the same as the other and it tells the story uh, if you like to read about it and not just look at the pictures, but there's stories of different people living in different farmhouses and how they have styled it. And I just love this book in particular for my own home because we live on a homestead and a homestead that I call a city farmhouse and so I love to have the home really reflect the lifestyle here and that's exactly what I get out of looking at this book um, there's a lot of really cozy areas but very uh, nicely put together as well they have beautiful colors throughout the homes in here and I just feel uh, very much inspired when I go throughout this book so this is a wonderful book to look at if you're looking to have a really nice uh, European farmhouse type of old world style. This one's Nora Murphy's Country House Style, Making Your Home a Country House. And this one is a lot more of a modern look, but at the same time, it does have a lot of beautiful old world uh, touches because it's a country house. Now this is very Americana and so you might think that it's a little bit different to talk about in this video but there is again a lot of really beautiful tablescapes that she shows in this book that are very much old world and though it's a little bit more modern you can really draw a lot of beautiful ideas um, from a lot of these rooms and I do I definitely do I love to come back to this book and just flip through it and see some of the different elements that I maybe have missed the first time around when looking at it. I love the different uh, fruits and vegetable displays that she has throughout the book, um, the floral displays, the different textures are in here. All in all, it is just a beautiful book to draw inspiration from. Next one I have for you is City Farmhouse Style. And though this is more of a modern book, it does have some old world elements in it that I thought was worth mentioning. This book is written by Kim Legit. This is especially a great book if you really love that farmhouse style but need a little bit of inspiration. Um, I do find uh, a couple of photos in here really inspire me. So this is a great book to look through. It's a beautiful book. She's showcased several different city farmhouses in the book and let me give you just a peek at some of the old world uh, type of photographs I found in here that I thought were really just beautiful to look at. There's a lot of really great old pieces found in these homes. Uh, a lot of them have a very classic look to them that I love this one here with the darker walls. And this book also has a lot of natural elements that I find is very important in old world style. The last book I have to show you is Perfect Country Rooms, and this is written by Emma Louise O'Reilly. And all the books that I have shown today and the Instagram account that I'm going to be showing next uh, can be found in the description box below so that you can find them easily book features a lot of beautiful country rooms as you might imagine very much uh, European in nature a lot of them and I love all the wood and elements that show just old world in a lot of these photographs lots of settings to look upon and a lot of places for your eyes to fall on it's a beautiful book very inspiring and I have drawn a lot of different ideas from just looking through the pages of this book. This next one is an Instagram account and that's English Eccentric Home. You could see it at the top of my screen there 
And I just want to scroll through here and show you how beautiful the gorgeous, gorgeous photos are that this lady posts. Um, she, I believe, is an interior decorator. I love to look through here and just get ideas from her photographs uh, for when I go antiquing or thrifting and if there is a room that I love on here in particular I'll study it the same way I will in the books and try to gather some elements from those uh, uh, pictures that I'm seeing so this is a great one to check out again it's English eccentric home and it's on Instagram all right guys well that is it for today's video i hope you've enjoyed chatting about home decor books and i hope that you find a lot of great inspiration here with these books that i have shared with you today and that instagram account thanks again for watching and i will see you on the next one